Hi, my name is Dr. Nitin. In the previous two videos, we learned about various leads on an ECG and also learned the different methods to calculate heart rate in both regular and irregular rhythms. We learned how to calculate heart rate using small boxes. How we can use large boxes to calculate heart rate. And if rhythm is irregular, we can use the 6 second method. Now in this video, I am going to show you how to calculate the corrected QT interval on an electrocardiogram with the help of Wedgett's formula. Wedgett's formula is the most common method used for calculation of corrected QT interval. Before jumping onto the Wedgett's formula, we shall first understand various segments and intervals on a normal electrocardiogram. This first positive deflection before QRS complex is called P wave. From the end of P wave to the beginning of QRS complex is called PR segment. Next triphasic wave is called QRS complex which consists of first negative Q wave then positive R wave and last negative deflection called S wave. After S wave and before beginning of T wave there is again an equiphasic period which is called ST segment and at the end we have a positive deflection called T wave. And the combination of two durations or periods is called interval. Two important intervals in any electrocardiogram are PR interval and QT interval. P wave duration and PR segment together form the PR interval and QRS complex, ST segment and T wave duration all in combination are called as QT interval. The important point to remember here is that measurement of QT segment starts from the initiation of QRS complex. In some leads Q wave may be absent. Then onset of R wave is taken as beginning of QRS for measurement of QT interval. Now, for calculation of corrected QT interval, we need two measurements. First is QT interval itself and another is RR interval. We shall learn with the help of an example. On this ECG, we mark the beginning of QRS complex and the end of T wave. This will give us the QT interval. As we learned in the previous video, one small box is equivalent to 40 millisecond and one large box is equivalent to 200 millisecond. In our case, there are approximately 8 small boxes, so QT interval will be 40 into 8 that is 320 millisecond or 0.32 seconds. Now we mark the peaks of two consecutive R waves which will give us the RR interval. There are approximately 4 large boxes between 2 R waves. So RR interval will be 200 into 4 that is 800 millisecond or 0 0.80 seconds. Coming to the Bajet's formula, it states that corrected QT interval equals to the QT interval in seconds divided by root of RR interval in seconds. In our case, QT interval is 0.32 seconds and RR interval is 0.80 seconds. So corrected QT interval will be 0.360 seconds or 360 milliseconds. This was a simple method to calculate corrected QT interval on an ECG. Now I know there are some more questions like what is normal value? or more accurately normal range of corrected QT interval. Which lead is the best to calculate QT interval out of all 12 leads of ECG? What is the need to calculate corrected QT interval? What are the other methods to calculate corrected QT interval? The conditions in which QTC becomes abnormal? If you are interested in answers of these questions, you can watch the next video on this channel. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.